Hi everyone, The Pond Mermaid with Poseidon's Aquatic Designs out here in Salem, Oregon um, with my husband. Say hi husband. Hi husband. <laughs> you can probably hear me now. <laughs> we are doing a small palmless waterfall today. Um, these clients actually uh, found us with our truck wrap which is super awesome so we are very excited to finally be out here to put this together for them i'm going to flip you around and kind of explain a little bit of what chris and alex have done already they left the camera in the truck for a little bit so <laughs> so um again just a small palmless waterfall six foot i believe yeah and so they have the basin dug already we are going to be doing waterfall, spillway bowl, and then pouring into it. Thank you. Kind of help you guys see a little more here. And then we're going to be removing all the grass um, to make it lower maintenance. I believe the clients have a bench planned. So um, we will be doing kind of a nice little time-lapse video for you guys and just to show you what we're doing. Good morning, everyone. We're back out on the uh, pondless waterfall job. We we got here a little while ago. I just hadn't turned on the camera yet, but we did a little bit of rework on some plumbing. I changed my mind on some things, make it a little bit easier to run, and we took care of that. And now we're back to where we started when we left yesterday. But I'll flip you around and show you what it looks like. So this is what we got so far. We got the pondless fault. We got our three aqua block system with the vault. It's about 70 gallons worth of water storage. We got our underlayment down there, protect our liner. Liner, and then we got a second layer of underlayment. That is shoved down there but it protects all of the aqua blocks from poking holes in the liner. We got our ball valve to control our spillway. And then we got our pump installed with our secondary line for the spillway bowl. Pump's down there at the bottom. Anyway, we are working on Getting that plumbed, we're gonna run a line from inside that box all the way across there. So then we can get all of our rock work in and all of our boulders in down here and start working our way up this waterfall today. I'm gonna to throw you guys up on a time lapse. Alex is here. And, just hanging uh, out. <laughs> yeah, we're just hanging out. We don't do much work. Yeah. And uh, we'll get this thing finished off. It's gonna look like a waterfall by the end of the day. It won't be finished, but we'll get close. I'll see you guys later.
update. It's lunchtime, so we're gonna go take a break. But uh, I'll show you what we got. Got all the boulders back here. Started the waterfall. Got the spillway going. It'll drop down there. First waterfall here. Second waterfall there. Stream will cascade around. And then we'll work our way up out of there. That boulder, maybe that one, or that one will probably be in the next waterfall. So we're gonna go take a break, eat some lunch, grab some highly caffeinated sodas slash Red Bulls, and we'll be back. Just got back from lunch. I figured I'd give you a little update what it looks like so far. We're uh, pulling out the grass, bringing in some nice topsoil, softening up these this mound so it's not such a it doesn't turn into a volcano. And uh, got some more edge work to do. A little bit more grass to pull out, a couple of rocks to place. But that's what it looks like so far. Next time you guys see it, it's going to be running and done. Good afternoon, everyone. We are finally done with this project. We got everything we needed done, a couple of little extras for the client. So we are excited. So I'll flip it around and show you guys what it looks like when it's finally done. So we got our standard six foot pondless waterfall, a spillway bowl, and then the client requested a somewhat scattered walkway around and uh, we're going to fill in all the gaps with some real low growing creeping kind of uh, cover plants. I'll give you a couple of close ups. The fillable. We actually pulled off five waterfalls on this little one, which is not normal, but uh, it really fills this whole area with a great amount of sound. There's also five LED lights on this one and uh, it looks like it's lit up like a Christmas tree at night. This is the view from the client's back patio, slightly raised porch. So this is what they're gonna see every day. The client's uh, sewing room is right here. So there's gonna be a great view when she's in there working on some of the not so nice days where it's nicer to stay inside than come outside. But, uh, it's a nice blank canvas to uh, start laying at a bunch of plants. The plant has a beautiful yard. There's the blooming roses all along here, a nice garden, a huge clematis, and then a nice vegetable garden that's just getting ready to go explode back there. But that's the finished project. We will see you guys on the next one. Hopefully it's at your house. You guys have a good day.